So, um, one of my, one of my friends, uh, they, they told me to look this up. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I did no, like, research before this. This is all my pure reaction. I have no idea what, this isn't scripted. Someone just told me to do this. I have, like, uh, I have, like, half an hour before I have to get to class. So I figured I could knock out a pretty funny video. So basically, they told me to look up the phrase goldfish wiki. Here I am on the goldfish... Pledio wiki. Uh, this is the first one that came up. It's Finn Pepperidge. Who's Rachel Berry? Actually, let me look that up really quick. Oh, uh, I guess Rachel Berry's from Glee. Okay. Um, let's see. Add photo to the gallery. Some that one looks creepy. Uh, origins. <laughs> Huge fucking nuts and shout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that you know what? This is this is great. I, uh, oh my god, <laughs> meet Finn the pen oiler. <laughs> um, what kind of name is Finn? Irish? No, Cheddar. <laughs> um, scary sleepover square cracker. All right, every, everyone, everyone, stand back. This is a creepy pasta. It all started by Finn and friends telling a spooky story about a woman that opened cracker package. That opened cracker. I, this, this is me reading. I'll even zoom in on the text. But they are not just any goldfish. They are square crackers. Must be Cheez-Its. But Gilbert got scared and believes there are not any square crackers until Extreme, and then I'm going to have to check out his wiki, scared him by an orange blanket, which Finn replies, Come on, Gilbert, a square cracker. <laughs> and the result made Gilbert ask to leave the bag just to buy crack. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Um, trivia. Actually, the owners never clean up the goldfish bags. What, are they making a town? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> come near bar. friend or traitor come come and look upon the heart and oh god and bring Rathgard I have need of it come to the heart chamber I wait for you there where we met last countless ages ago come to me through fire and war I welcome you welcome moon and star I've prepared a place for you come bring Rathgard to the I'm not gonna read all of this uh what are, what are the other ones I can check out? Alright, screw it. Let's go with Coral Pepperidge. <laughs> are they all named Pepperidge? <laughs> is, is like their, that their last name? It's like Steve Jobs, but he changed his name to Steve Apple. Coral Lorraine Pepperidge, a 12-year-old... Okay, that's a weird emphasis. Uh, origins. According to Coral, she came from a South racist... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty pink room with a hamster cage with fuzzy face <laughs> with rainbow pink all around it in a bajillion plush bunnies all over the room <laughs> and uses the cage as a roller coaster <laughs> because it has tubes. <laughs> Mentioned in season 5 episode 1, she saw Finn and friends after rescued Gilbert from the vacuum, she saw them fly their paper airplane, and she wanted to meet them. Meet them, so she used a hamster ball to go to Finn's room and become one of the f one of the Finn and friends buddies. And a jingle <laughs> included Coral's end of the episode. Fuzzy faces destruction. <laughs> Dude, the the goldfish has more lore than half the animes I watch at this point. <laughs> she and the friends in the crowd staring at the finish sight. Until, and then, uh, how many is that? That's like at least 15 dots. The stage got crooked, and it was Fuzzy Face trying to destroy the area until Cool shouted, Fuzzy Face, and then stares at Fuzzy Face, playing with the red big line. Rid of Fuzzy Face, <laughs> trying to get rid of them, trying to get ready of a plan to get rid of it in steps. One, Coral made a fake female hamster. Just to distract Fuzzy Face and tells him to take it home until 2. Finn pushes the ball onto Fuzzy Face, trapping him inside. 
three, Gilbert putting on the lid. Four, Brooke and the toy robot pushing the ball. Five, Extreme getting fuzzy face into a straight line by train tracks and sending him off the room. <laughs> he just keeps going. And then there's two comments that both say first from the same person. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, I need more of this goldfish lore. You know, I, I accept at this point, I'm just not going to make it to my next class because I'm uh, just too in-depth with this goldfish lore. <laughs> so, Mington Lamar Pepper is Extreme's uncle and brother. He made an appearance in Series 3. <laughs> wait, wait. So, not only is there gold, uh, goldfish uh, lore, there's goldfish incest. <laughs> uh, you know, let's let's check out more of Finn Pepperidge. There has to be good ones, right? Oh, also the picture just says this. <laughs> you know, what, let me let me. What's that one character's name? Uh, my friend told me specifically to look that one up. So I guess they removed it. So I guess it must have been pretty funny then. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to make an edit. And where it says he has huge fucking nuts and shaft. We're going to change that. Fill the load. Okay. He has... Massive. And then we're going to put some of those stars around it. That way people really get the idea. Um... A trivia. <laughs> so we can't find Brooke, so there has to be a reason. So I'm going to help write the lore. Alright, so I finished, and um... Here's, uh, here's what I wrote. <clears throat> he hid Brooke's lifeless cold body next to the train tracks. On a cold October night, Finn knew he either had to get rid of Brooke, or the Mafia will find him. Finn sighs as he meets up with Brooke. Uh, hey, Brooke. He quietly mutters, Hiya, Finn! Brooke says cheerfully. Finn looked at her, tears in his eyes. Brooke, however, couldn't see his eyes due to his wicked awesome sunglasses. B beautiful moon tonight, eh? Finn said, now Canadian. As Brooke glanced towards the moon, she said, it Sure is lovely. Sometimes I like to wonder what's beyond the stars. What do you think's past the stars, Brooke? Finn choked out through tears. I bet it's beautiful. I bet there are a thousand different plant- Bang. Brooke's lifeless body hit the ground. Finn proceeds to drag her body to the trunk of his 1979 Dodge Charger. I, I, I loved her. Finn sobbed through the burner phone as he received from Don Vinny. I know, but I told you. It was either her or you. You made a good choice. The strong, almost offensive, Italian accent mumbled through the cell as Finn let the last few black clods of dirt hit the shallow grave of Brooke. Finn stared up at the moon. If, if only... He sobbed before turning the gun on himself and hoping to see Brooke one last time. Then we're going to add an E to Vinny and then... It don't matter. N none of this matters. Carl mutters as he watched it happen from the bushes. Alright, we're going to save that page. And, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I changed that and I added trivia. Save page, please. I really want to see that. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, I made a contribution. So now, he, instead of having a huge, he has massive. And in the trivia, that entire paragraph is mine. God, I feel so bad for like the goldfish. Like the goldfish company is like, ah, oh, I bet people really love our wiki. <laughs> they really want to learn more <laughs> about Finn Pepperidge. <laughs> or like some little kid just like, oh man, oh there's so much story, I can't, I can't wait to figure it out, and then like logs on and then just <laughs> reads this this horrible paragraph <laughs> I wrote. <laughs> Alright, uh, you know what guys, if you enjoyed the video, 
please leave a like. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you want me to try and find more wikis that are not protected, or you have any suggestions for what to write, <laughs> please leave it in the comments below, because this is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this is anymore. Alright guys, uh, yeah, peace. Uh, guys, girls, everything in between, have a good day. I hope your day is really good. Yeah, peace out.